I titled it, Who We Gonna Play? Who knows? That's the fun. Seriously, I, I, I needed to come up with a title for the stream real quick while I changed everything over, and I, I couldn't come up with one, so I, I, I don't... I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just I just put that... Let me just make sure that we're changed over again. I'm to play hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts of iron. I think that's the lyrics. Play historic France. What does pound sign, pound sign mean? Uh. Clickbait titles, huh? You shut your filthy mouth. I'm not trying to piss you off. You shut your filthy mouth. Play a historical Indonesia. I could care less about voting right now. Well, Ben, that's the thing, man. It's it's gonna it's gonna jade you if you let it. Don't let it jade you. You should still vote. I don't give a frick who you... I don't give a frick who you vote. You vote for Mickey Mouse is all for all I care for. Please do it. That'd be awesome. But remember, don't get caught up in it. Trust me on this one. You'll feel better. Like, and it's bad. There's a lot of static this year, man. It's it's worse. It's the worst I've ever seen it. Swedish meatball. I don't know. I don't know what country we should play. Um, we just got finished playing Chang, Chiang Kai-shek, and we ended up taking over pretty much all of, uh, West Taiwan. And, um, and then some. Egypt? Nah. Estonia? Nah. If you want to challenge, play Poland. Hold the West and East at the same time until the Allies arrive, then push. I do not think I'm smart enough to do that, real. Play France? You've never played France? Play Canada, the Kings of War Crimes. I've done a Canadian playthrough before. Play Straya? All right. All right. I've done an Australia playthrough, but it sucked. I didn't do it right. Freaking Australia, mate. All right. Let's play a historic, though historical, historical op Australia. Let's do it. Let's let's do this. Iron Man Stroya! Just like Iron Man China. China. China, China. Get your VBs and your Commodores out, mates. We're gonna take over the world. We're gonna spread bearers around the world, mate. That's what we're gonna do. It's not like Canada was a major reason for the Geneva Convention. <laughs> Uh... Okay. Let's unite Australia and Austria for good. What? All right.
It just seems appropriate. All right. Now, as as is tradition, we're gonna take a look at our national focuses. What do we got here? Got to kind of plan out where you want to. Uh, the cockatoo shipyards. That's not a. That's not a real place. That's not a real place. Sedated. This is actually music from in-game. Oh, look at this. All right, so that's that's the army tree right there. That's the navy tree right there. Or no, that's the air force tree, and that's the navy tree. This is your industrial stuff right here. And then this, your political tree is right here. historical on smoked they might but you got to remember territorial australia is up here that's all at this point in time in 1936 australia had all of this all of this land might cockatoo shipyard is 100 percent a real thing guys it was a freaking joke oh my goodness you know, like multiple people saying that was a, dude it was a joke because that uh, things in Australia have funny names. No. Tough crowd. Oh dear. <laughs> All right, summer down now. Summer down now. Don't forget to start the em emu cavalry. Yeah. Nah. This ain't funny down under, mate. Yeah, what does that even mean? What are you talking about? Redoni, can you understand any of these people? These people, these people are talking all funny. I think they're trying to make fun of the way you talk it's kind of weird samba music please all right that's fair not real Aussies they don't have a sense of humor yeah yeah right <laughs> all right all right let's roll let's roll there are crimes against humanity happening in Papua Papau at the central border these days. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We share a border with Dutch. We share a border with Dutch. You see that? You see that, mate? Here, a border with Dutch. Yeah, we're playing a historic again. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Uh, Here, I thought you were tolerant of other other people's cultures. 
No, no, Alpo. There are two things I can't stand in this world. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures. And the Dutch. It's the Republic of Dutch. <laughs> I'm not really sure what we should do here right off the bat. Um, let's, uh... Let's take a look. How many Civ factories do we... F uh... uh... Not great, Bob. How many guns do we hit? We have five. Five. Extra guns. Five. How many divisions do we have ready to go? Seven. Seven. Our manpower is 34,000. Ah. Okay. We have two research slots. Great Depression. Can you drain the Mediterranean in Hearts of Iron 4? No, I don't think so. Alright. Build out that Civ factory. We have seven divisions, so just put them under one dude and... Leslie Morsett, alright. That's fine. He... You do your thing. No divisions in basic training. We don't want any. We don't have the manpower to do that. Um. Don Ladingo. All right. This is a grand strategy game, Zarek, that takes place during World War II. These are the different policy decisions that you can make, dude. Uh, yeah, it's fun. You can play as any country in World War II. And it, well, if you have historical focuses off, it's like if you have historical focuses on, first of all, it'll just play out like World War II. So like Germany will invade Poland in 1939. When? I don't know. It kind of depends. All right? There are some variations to it, right? Like, if historical is on, does Pearl Harbor happen on December 7th? No, it happens sometime at the end of 1941. But it still happens, right? With non-historic on, it's kind of a, it's kind of a party. So you just, you get the war-torn, completely screwed up Europe in the 30s, and yeah, whatever happens, happens. It's sometimes it gets ridiculous. Um, but it's a grand strategy game. You're controlling everything. You control the industry, you control what weapons your guys use, use what tanks planes you design the planes in the game you design tanks you design ships it's pretty rad so you could be canadian and work on the geneva checklist i actually had a save i had a save where we went fascist canada it was one of the weirdest saves i've ever played yeah that was the strangest thing fascist canada in that in that save in that canada save what happened okay I went fascist as Canada, separated from the British, and then 
the Soviet Union declared war on us or something? I forget. All I know is that I was fascist Canada that was allied with the United States and England. Fascist Canada was a member of the Allied Forces, which was weird. That was a weird save. That was a weird one. Yeah, weird stuff like that can happen with Historic. Um... Yeah, we don't need no king, mate. That's what we're gonna do. No king for us. Here we go. Lot of export. Nice. A lot of strategic materials down here. Good, they can be exploited to make weapons. I assume you have to focus a lot on your navy. Uh, actually, that's a good idea to see what we have. That's that's it. We have the Canberra, the Australia, Sydney, Adelaide. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Uh, let's always start building convoys. Three military factories, start by making weapons. <sighs> Our troops aren't even equipped. We have two cavalry divisions and five infantry divisions. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's roll. All right, train up these. You know what? Just, just get rid of the two frickin' horse divisions. Just, just go away. Get up to Brisbane, mate. On the Sunshine Coast. Go up there. Yeah, perfect. And then. Trumpets! <laughs> yeah, whatever, it's just completely screwed. How did your... I played nationalist China, Tintoon, and I ended up taking over pretty much all of West Taiwan, and then most of India, actually. And then the German... German-Japanese border was right here, so I stopped. <laughs> we won, though. I would call that victory. I slapped... Mao Zedong killed him, killed the other warlords. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Now we got a place. Oh, yeah. Destroy him, mate. What's our division template, by the way? That's a huge template. Oh. That's kind of nice. Yep. No, no equipment. You're going to lose a bird. You're going to lose to a bird. Oh, emu jokes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Played it, Clayton. Pretty cool. Recruit the ruse, mate. Yeah. 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 We're just kind of in a holding pattern here. Until this happens or something. The Sultanate of Asa. Yeah, that's Italy doing stupid things in East Africa. Play as El Salvador. I'm playing as El Australiador.
Germany embroiled by civil war. Uh-oh. They're pissed at Hitler. The Dominion of Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. We stake our own path. Spaghetti. What's the tech tree like? Limited or expensive? It's pretty good. Turkey remilitarizes re the straits. That's the Mahia Peninsula. That's where Rocket Lab launches from. done. Speaking of that, what do we have for airplanes? 24 Hawker Furies, okay. It's not a lot. Serious spaghetti music. <sighs> Epic. You think they'll ever make another Hearts of Iron? Mm -hmm. Do the planes have enough range to travel around all the country? Not the small ones. Like, at least on a mission, Yannick, no.
We won, Panta. Got to 1947. I took over. I took over all of West Taiwan and most of India. Yeah, we're good. I didn't feel like fighting the Germans and the Japanese. That wouldn't have ended well. Small planes be towed as gliders by bigger planes. You can tell them to just fly somewhere. On a mission, though, you're constricted by range. Like, if I tell the planes to just fly from here to here, they'll just do it. That doesn't matter. It, the game just kind of assumes that they're going to stop and refuel somewhere. But on a combat mission, it doesn't take that into account. So, like, the planes can only... See what I mean? Planes can only really go over in this area. Second London Naval Treaty, not my problem. Navy would probably be a good idea considering there's water between us and some of our territory. Yeah, we're gonna need that's why I went down the navel tree first. We're gonna need mines. Lots of mines. We need subs. Subs subs with mines. That's what we're gonna need. Yeah, right now there's not much to do because there's just we have no manpower. We have nothing. We have no weapons. Almost got everybody well equipped. Bolivian Socialist Revolution of 1936. Oh, crap. Neutrality from the U.S. Yep, as is tradition. Yeah, we gotta build everything from the ground up. That German Civil War is looking like fun, though. Historical is off, yeah. Australia is mad boring, though. Well, let's make it not boring. We're not getting the silent workhorse. That's going to cripple us for a little while. Go hard on diplomacy. There's a petition that anyone can sign to stop the Viper cancellation.
We're gonna go right down the bash tree, dude. Let's see what we got. That's the only way I think we can get to do what we want to do. You'll bet, baby. Oh, yeah. Start making fords in Geelong, mate. Yeah. Mate, we're going to make so many fords. It's going to be great. Freaking mad fords being made here. Hey, Natch, what's going on? You started a second degree in physics, inspired by you in the chat. Hell yeah, dude! Show these mother... Show these melon farmers how we, how we roll! I almost said it. I almost did it. Almost did it, but it didn't. Almost did, but it did, but I didn't. Show these melon farmers how we roll. Because we're farming out here in southwest Queensland. I heard Australia's focus tree is terrible. It's actually pretty bad. Yeah, this isn't... This isn't as cool as I thought it would be. Whatever. It has one. Yeah. That's a quick one. 35 days. Good stability. No support for the war, though. For a war. Stop making airplanes, mate. Pull from the United States. Got to be careful being dependent on other countries like that, though. The reason why is that once the fighting breaks out, someone's going to probably try to torpedo our convoys. So, you know. Oh, we have 106 convoys. Hold on. Yes. Did you do class, mate? Yeah. I'm gonna start making those. Gonna use cockatoo to make a didgeridoo. You're gonna use cockatoo to make the didgeridoo, mate. Did you see that? <laughs> cockatoo to make the didgeridoo. Ah, ha, 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 that's. Am I the only one that finds that funny? All right. <laughs> Apparently, yes. What do you want?
What is this? El Tango Argentino. Kangaroo point dry dock, mate. There we go. Uh, we've got to make sure that we fly the Jolly Roger. Right. Because uh, we're going to go down the submarine doctrine, mate. You're trying to mod up KSP so that I can make colonies and have life support, but I broke something and have to raz the entire install. Rip in pepperoni. Pepperonis. That sucks, man. Never make the drop is. And of course, it's all right. It's all right, Panther. I took, I took my portal gun, and I turned it into a real gun. I've got a real gun, Panther. I've got a real gun, mate. We have to make sure we go to Bendigo. We gotta go to Bendigo to get me cube, mate. Gotta go to Bendigo to get me cube. Oh dear. We got a pretty wide div template, which is good, but that Rick and Marty episode was unhinged. Yep. Whenever I hear that accent, all I hear is Star Wars clones. <laughs> Could have a dockyard in Tasmania. Mikey, that is so not right. But it is, though. Yep. Civil War. 140% research bonus. Boom. give up the sim factories I'll just take the debuff for now get some good advisors up here for building stuff faster I got Exto Estonia declared war on Bapsid Estonia. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. Oh boy. I took the debuff to production right here is because it's not worth the civ factory civilian factories you can use to make 
civilian factories faster and then you can make stuff faster the more civ factories you have the bigger economy you have right in this game and the bigger economy means you can make you can make stuff faster that's huge so i don't want to take a debuff in the early game because the more factories you can the more civilian factories you can place down right now the better you don't want to waste you don't want to build anything else besides civ factories for like the first part of the game because especially if your country has no industrial base like what's going on we are australia two slider there you go turtle master right on dude Nice, lots of bad kangaroo jokes. The only one making roo jokes was me. Sorry. All right, let's train a new division here. I can train in Adelaide, mate. You want to be liberating the Kiwi from their tyrannical government? Yeah, yeah. declared war on the Norwegian People's Republic. Okay. No, historical's off, turtle. annexed. Norwegian People's Republic. Norway went communist. We got construction, which is great. Now we need... Uh, let's go concentrated industry, I think. That would be good. And we're getting awesome bonuses because we're still a member of the Commonwealth. Those commie bikings. Yep. Bulgarian government supports the commies. We got standard gauge unlocked. We're gonna start, I gotta start. Uh, Ethiopia capitulated. I know, two slider, you see that? With a historic. Lithuania declared war on the Lithuanian People's Republic. Jeez. Peasant uprising in Krakow. Oh, God. Communist uprising. Got 
gotta start making artillery. Workers of the world! They really do suck, don't they? Civil War. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well, we don't need to worry about them. Is right or you get communists. You don't want to deal with communists now, do you? Transport ships unlocked. Do we have Marines unlocked though? Capital ship screen submarine max range plus five fuel usage plus five max speed fuel usage range or speed I'm gonna go range is probably what we want here all right thirty six submarine we need mine laying torpedo two submarine engine two. We called our first submarine the Didgeridoo, so this is the Didgeridoo class. Get it? Cartoys, 103 monthly sub. Oh. So, I do I have heavy cruisers? Um, a little. I have two of them. I have the Canberra and. Holy balls! We made a lot of submarines. Sweet. Go train. I have the Canberra and the Australia. I made six submarines in that time. Jeez. Cool. 
shipping cruisers. On today's edition of Hearts of Iron, EJ gets beaten by email. Now, screw that. Screw that. Just make more submarines. Make subs and convoys. Have you ever looked into a played Supreme Ruler? No and no. So I haven't done that. Kind of like Hearts of Iron, which you manage an entire nation's economy, taxes, and so on. Geopolitical milsim. Interesting. Sit on artillery, but yeah. strategy. Uh, yeah, grand yeah, I got you, Alto. Naval strength, I would assume. I'm going down a big submarine tree. Yeah, absolutely. I want those SIF factories, though. Austria denies referendum, and the Hindenburg exploded. Anybody want to buy some guns? Who wants to buy some guns? Hey, people wanted guns before. <laughs> Nobody? No, I'll keep them high. Somebody will want those eventually. Ah, U.S. wants to buy some Lee Enfield? Uh, okay. Wait, who the hell's in charge of the United States? Wait a minute, what was that? Okay, that was Roosevelt. All right, cool. I thought I saw Truman for a second. I'm like, wait, what? Speaking of the Hindenburg, can someone explain why there have been millions of crashes from both airplanes and cars, ships and ship sinking, but one airship goes down and we stop using them? <laughs> the 
it was kind of a lot of different things, Alto, all at once, dude. Air airships were slow. They were slow. They were, the, the only reason people were doing it was to project military power. And how good does it look if you're trying to project military power to the United States of all people and the thing blows up? You know what I mean? It was just kind of like, these are a cool idea, but why are we doing them? Fun fact, the U.S. had dirigibles just like that. The Akron uh, in the Macon, and they both, well, not one of them crashed. They're just like, why do this when flying boats make more sense? There's no point in doing that. Also, big fiery crash caught on film. That probably has a lot to do with it, sure. Yeah, I'd say that that's fair. Yeah, we used helium. Panta, the thing is, though, dude, we... The Germans used hydrogen in their dirigible design because somebody embargoed helium from them. Hey, it was us. We did that. Yeah, not a lot of people know that. Akron was the one that, yeah, no ticket. Yeah, exactly. Sucks to suck. I mean, Panta, not a, a, a lot of people don't know that uh, the reason why Japan attacked Pearl Harbor was because uh, they saw the U.S. as a threat. Why did they see somebody that's 6,000 miles away across a gigantic ocean a threat? We embargoed their oil because we wanted them to stop expanding and crippled them, almost crippled them economically. Yep. Just saying. No, we put a huge oil, FDR put a huge oil embargo on Japan. And Japan ran out of oil to support their gigantic navy. We did to them what OPEC did to us in the 70s. Fun fact. So they said, fine. Want to play that game? And little did they know, we did want to play that game. We did. They didn't know that. They, they forgot. They, 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 we did want to play that game. Yes, we did. <laughs> Narrator. They did want to play that game. The final countdown. Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a weird movie. How did the China run end up? We ended up taking all over all of West Taiwan here, dreaded, uh, and most of like. See where the British Raj is, like the bottom of that text. We took over all of this. I would call that a wildly successful run. Where I called it, or I called it a day, it was 1947, and my troops were getting ready to invade Afghanistan, Iran, and Iraq. I'm like, I'm good. Good. We'll just... Yeah. We took over all of West Taiwan. Yeah. What, did I stutter? Hey, Zvik, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, West West Taiwan. See, we played as that guy. We took over West, it was West Taiwan. Just saying. Well, Panta, considering the first thing I did when I did my China playthrough was dispatch that piece of shit right there. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, nah, he didn't have anything to say about it. <laughs> EJ, no China trip soon? Nah, nah, I'm good. I gotta time myself out, I swore. Sorry about that. Okay. Time out over. Spain, Spain declared war on the Spanish commune. Oh, yeah. You can always count on Spain to have a crazy civil war. 
Taiwan was pretty dope to visit. I got to see SSDs and motherboards being made. Pretty rad. Oh. You know, I went out into the Pacific and I was looking for her and I was like, Emilia! 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 Sorry. <clears throat> Emilia! Chris got to rob the Oscar. <laughs> It's tradition in any Hearts of Iron 4 to have us finish Civil War. Commies, 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 commies everywhere. Coming, 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 coming everywhere. Everywhere, they're like weeds. Lithuania fell. There's the Carlists. As opposed to the Gregoryists and the the Will Smiths. Wait, what? No, Pennsylvania did not fall. It's right there. In all its Allegheny goodness. Citizen military forces costs. Oh, okay. Good, 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 good. How those submarines working? Hey, all right. Hey, we got more. Drill, baby, drill, baby. Sweat, baby, sweat, baby, sweat, baby, sweat. What do we want? Submarine torpedo attack plus 20. Yeah, baby. Cockatoo, do it up, mate. Do it up. Oof. 
Why did Britain have to be the odd one out and make a weird armored transport? What, the Bren gun carrier? I don't know, man. I think Bren gun carriers are kind of cool. They're super fast for what it is. Yeah, man, but we'll, uh... We shall overcome. Really have anything good here. Do it. We have points. Let's go. Use them. Put the flaming werfer on it. In company of heroes, worth it. The ah yes, the one that werfs flames. Very nice. Election. The public demands rearmament. The ongoing war approaching our borders has loomed over the upcoming election. With many voters being concerned that Australia is not prepared for being thrown into this conflict or whatever may arise from it. They demand we increase our precautions and ensure our nation is ready for war. While the majority still support labor, we may lose them to the more radical elements if we don't alleviate their apprehensions. Yeah, baby. Let's roll. Nice, it moved us to limited conscription. Excellent. Yeah, we're uh, defending ourselves. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Okay, what do we want to increase production on? We have no air experience. You know what? Good. Look at that beautiful country, except for Cle except for Queensland. Oh, what's wrong with what's wrong with that place, mate? Fine. Obliged to stay, say state rivalries, All right, mate? Oh, yeah, I understand that. Uh, 
I'm about to make a submarine fleet here, Hawks. That's gonna make Donuts jealous. Carl Donuts. He's gonna be pissed. Australian Navy might be tiny, but those boys were machines. Yeah, Hawks, I think the, I think people don't realize the history of like Australia actually like actually fighting. There's like oh, emus and stuff, but if you look at Australia's like military history, like actual military history, uh, they could mess stuff up. Yeah, N let's say mess stuff up and leave it at that. Read about, like, I mean, Hawks, you know, but if, you, if you're curious, read about, like, what Australians did in Vietnam. Not a lot of people know. A lot of Australians fought in Vietnam with the Americans because they were a little worried about the domino effect as well because considering it's on their doorstep, right? So, yeah, dude, they actually some pretty crazy stories, dude. Yep. Read about it. It's super interesting stuff. You wouldn't think. You'd be like, ah, they lost the em emus. No, they can fight. Oh, they can fight. Don't worry. Pretty good at it, actually. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Australia, like, Aust of course Australians are good at fighting. Everything on this freaking continent is trying to kill you all the time. Just saying. Emus? No, I feel bad. <laughs> it's just, I'm just putting it out there. Get enough shots to deal the final blow to the Red Baron from the ground. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Australians went into Vietnam with Steyr Augs. AUGs. Not a lot of people know that either. That's what they were using. They were using Steyrs with the wolf pups. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Do you think it would be a good idea to move a few troops up near the Dutch to protect your borders? Yeah, I have to build an army. I have. We started with nothing. That's why I'm slowly building us up. We could probably train another... No, we can't train another division. My weapons factories don't go that fast. We probably don't need to worry about the Japanese. They're having a... Oh... Imperial Wantung Territories. Japan went communist. Interesting. And it's split. military factories we're up to 28 not bad not bad we could really do with some research like that you get uh yeah mechanical computing better research speed you taking the u-boat wonder weapon strategy i'm trying i'm gonna try to
Yeah, when you gotta build up from scratch like this, it... Yeah, it sucks. We have the manpower to field more divisions, but we don't have the guns. We need more factories. That's why I did that historical focus tree. Australia also fought in Afghanistan. Of course they did, Yannick. Yep. Oh, yeah. Australians can fight, dude. It's actually some pretty pretty gnarly history. Maybe we'll talk about it more sometime. They did some pretty crazy stuff. Like, you wouldn't expect it. It's just like the Canadians. Like, it's it's funny because every... Every... Every country that's either ex-commonwealth or ex-british territory is really good at fighting for some reason you ever notice that canadians they had to write the geneva convention because they were such savage individuals on the battlefield the australians can fight we can fight the u.s we like doing that right England and England, it's not even, it's not even get started on them. They tried to take over a, the entirety of Africa. The Geneva checklist. Now, what about the 13 colonies? We like fighting so much that we fought against them to fight for our freedom. We like, oh, we like fight. Oh, we, oh, we did, we shoot. We're like Mike Lowry. We shoot, we did a lot of shooting. Oh, somebody shot you in the butt. I was shooting. I did a lot. I did a lot of shooting. Somebody shot you in the butt. What about India? I don't know about them. Hmm. I guess that would be the one exception to that rule, huh? Oh, so somebody shot you. Yeah, yeah. Somebody shot me in the butt, Mike. There's a big chunk missing. Somebody shot you in the butt. <laughs> It's okay, it hit the meat, it ain't anywhere near the no <laughs> Heavy metal rind, mate. What's up? I said that's completely wrong. What's up, man? Tier 254 month resub. Thanks, man. The Indo-Pakistani war was brutal. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a... Uh... We're, we're trying to build up Australia, yeah. It's taking a second, but we're doing it. I'm gonna try to get you guys, I'm gonna try to get you at the very least to keep this. You know what I'm saying? At the very least, you gotta keep this. Imagine if that was Australia, if you got the Solomon Islands and New Guinea as well. Oh man. Actually, it's Papau. Or Papua. One of my favorite movies. Soviet Civil War. The Dominion of Canada seeks immediate patriation. Soviet Union, uh-oh. Hitler already died. Stalin. Again? Let's just go back over here. Let's just... Just... The Kaiser! He's coming back! Not a lot of people know the Kaiser spent the rest of his days in... What is it? In Belgium? After... After the war? Or during the war? Nazis didn't really like him. Oh, no, the European... Combine. Despite the recent Soviet focus on communism in one... In one country... The internationalist roots of the movement transcend borders. This solidarity with workers around the world was a key element in Joseph Stalin's speech. Oh, God, gross. Netherlands, yeah, yeah. He was on vacation. Yeah, he just came back. Bum, 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 bum. We have another submarine. SVO, check this out, dude. I had some car parts come in today. You reminded me. See the new bumper? The new bumper uh, headlamp thing? Dude, this one is completely screwed up. 
I'm going to have to take the whole headlight thing off that. But I almost got all the QA1 stuff in on this thing, dude. It's going to move around like a streamlined butterfly. Now, it's a Chevy, but whatever. Whatever. It's F-bodies are pretty cool. I'd prefer a Fox body, you know what I mean? But F-bodies are pretty rad. Oh. Yo, Hawks, you actually reminded me. And this is for all the Australians watching, dudes. I was at uh, the New England 900, which is a Cletus McFarlane event, right? It, it was near my house, right? And they uh, they had a Burnout Rivals competition. There was a bunch of Australians there. And they had some sweet freaking cars, dude. Some guy had a uh, Commodore, Commodore wagon, which is pretty rad. And they got confused because still like to this day they got, i'm like dude commodore wagon and they're like what the hell how do you know that i'm like bro oh, come on man don't do me like that i rock was at lime rock yeah that's right now back it was dude they had they needed a substitute driver in the new england 900 and Greg Biffle came up from Lime Rock because he was racing. He came up on Friday night and, and wheeled the Crown Vic. <laughs> he crashed, but hey, whatever. It was still awesome. The stage wagons are always cool. Dude, this thing... That wagon had a... big engine in it. <laughs> it's like... 6.2 LS supercharger. Huge scoop coming out of the hood. Like the, the the scoop and the supercharger were taller than the roof of the car. It was freaking awesome. It was freaking it was sweet. And the guy was they, they were rolling by, like going to the burnout pit, and I was like, yeah, mate. And they they all looked and went, yeah, guy. And then they kept going. I'm serious, I actually did that. I was like, yeah. And they they, they were like, oh, <laughs> Really hope they didn't pick me. It was weird. I watched Greg Biffle in person blow the blow up the engine in his GT500 during GT500 during pastime. <laughs> nice. I think Lynchy was at that event. I know he's going to Burnout Master. Yeah, he was there. It was it was rad, dude. It was super cool. This is like in 2009. Estonia bought off the communists or Vapsid. oh no they didn't nope no they didn't they're fascist okay now i have a gt500 ironically i know svo i saw it oh wait was that the gt was it the gt500 i don't think it, i don't know maybe that was just a regular mustang actually svo i was gonna ask you dude do you have experience with the s197 chassis that was it, yeah. I seen it. I seen it, man. <laughs> Love to go to a cleaner event one year. For the meantime, I have to settle with some grassroots V8 at Sandown or Phillip Island. Hey, that's not that. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Got some military factories, boy. Nothing wrong with it at all. They race all era V8, so there's some old Falcons from the 70s up against 2010 Commodores. Hawks, Falcon XB, and Falcon XBs and Falcon XCs are ironic, unironically like some of my favorite muscle cars, dude. I know 
a lot about them because I watched uh, a documentary. I mean, obviously Mad Max, like that wasn't a documentary. There's a documentary uh, that was done by Eric Bana, the actor, called Love the Beast. And ever since then, I'm like, dude, that car is, that car is mint. Because of the um, 79 Bathurst, 79 Bathurst 1000. The two X, the two XC Commodores coming in first and second. The Moffat Ford Commodore, I'm like, or uh, not Commodores, the Falcons. It was awesome, dude. Mad Max is a future documentary. Yeah, free screenings of the documentary. Red Dawn. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's only right. It's only right. Phenomenal, he's a local boy. I saw him around when I was younger. Yeah, dude. His, uh, his XB. The XB GT is just, just, just. Oh man, the car is. Here, let me show you guys a picture. In case you were wondering. Oh yeah! Now, now that's a car, man. Now that's a car. That's how you car. Have you seen Wild Wild Space yet? No, I need to watch it though. I absolutely need to watch it. Wait, what the hell? It didn't give it didn't give it to me. Oh, a freaking peace treaty. Crap. It brought it out of the threshold. You melon farming pieces of poop. What do you want to know about the S197? Oh, uh alignment. I got to align the Mustang. Um Obviously, I can handle toe, but there's clearly some other adjustment that I need to make because I, I aligned it and my the wheel is still a little bit to one side. Just gotta make sure the wheel is straight before you start. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's anything other than just setting the... The, uh... The tie rods. Because, yeah, I want to do it... I want to do it a little while back, and I didn't do it right. But, either way. They have some stream footage from NASA Spaceflight on there. Oh, really, Celestial? That's cool. That's actually super neat. Had the same thing years ago. One was offset on one side. Just got to make sure. The, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it again. SVO. After I get the Camaro out of here. How about the Australian Intelligence Research Special Endeavor? Oh, no, no, no. Um, 
No. Uh. There we go. That's a, that's a better name. I still think ARSE should have been our space center. Oh, it would have been amazing, dude. Boggin Bureau? I like that one, too. <laughs> I think I named it... <laughs> I think I named it Graham Weldon because of... Graham Weldon in chat. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Nobody said you weren't intelligent. Phenomenon. Canberra Underground Networking. Oh, that's a good one, too. Damn. Crap. We have a very big PP right now. It makes me wonder why they named it even Asio in the first place. Task force? Huh? Where did you see that? Canberra Underground Networking Task Force. Oh, that would have been amazing. Damn. Missed opportunity. Missed it by that much. Yep. Next time. We'll just, that's its name, that'll be, that'll be its name in spirit, okay? Fuel usage minus five, excellent. More fuel efficient submarines, the better. Let's go over here. See you in the Northern Territory. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot, man, that's pretty good. What is that, a twin ion engine fighter turned hot rod? Yeah, something like that. Something like that, Yannick, yeah. Yeah, put in, put in, uh, getting your officer core figured out sooner rather than later is better because they'll start ticking experience in there so you can focus on doctrine easier. I started in 36, Smucks. 
He went and got the bottle of wine. He, he, is it American wine? That is like Kazaki wine, except not made from fermented horses urine. Have fun more. Chinkui. Oh, wait, you don't want to drink your wine anymore? Sorry, my bad. My bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> See you in the Northern Territory was an awesome advertisement. We need the Samba music. Free France was annexed. Uh-oh. Celestial Zeal, 72 month reset. Thank you. Nation Francaise. No faction! Uh oh. Leopold Kim Robert. Ah, yes. Our intelligence agency. Graham Weldon. <laughs> Fascist France. That's weird. No, Smuck, not really. What the twist? What the twist? Here you go. See you in the nt.com. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You can get bar mats from them. They're actually legit, too. That's awesome. No wonder I like it here. The jokes are 90% referential. Oh, yeah. I pepper in all kinds of stuff in here, Alto. Oh, we pepper in all kinds of good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you like references, <laughs> I'm, I'm your guy. <laughs> Swaraj movement makes gains in provincial elections. Uh-oh. India. The Royal Australian Submarine Service. RAS. That should give me a good research bonus to a, uh... To subs. <sighs> Not a hundred percent sure what we should do. goes the naval building. I have two wolf packs right now. They're pretty trained.
<laughs> nice animal. Good. <laughs> Remember, Manfu, that is the sound not a jackhammer makes. That is the sound a shock hammer makes. <laughs> oh, hey, Pi. We weren't doing anything weird in here, don't worry. Oh, that guy's got a scar, dude. He must be hard, hardcore. Greg Pygynus. Didn't realize the Japanese Navy was that close to us. Dude, the Japanese Navy shelled targets in Australia. On mainland Australia. Oh yeah, they were that close. The Japanese had basically all of this. They were on Australia's doorstep. Nothing weird? What did I come here for then? Oh, yeah, that's fair. Oh, no! Ah, that's much better. All right, cool. Coral Sea, Solomon Islands, yeah. Got pretty hard. World War II, a lot of lot of battles in the Pacific fought right up in here. Standard Eric Johnson weirdness, yeah. Alright, anyway. Why do I feel like I just joined the Sardaukar? Sardaukar, I guess, bacon. Alright, what do we do now? 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 We do that. We have... Free civilian factories, mate. All right. Just gonna build another one. Build another one up in Queensland, mate. Actually, guys, it's getting to be a little bit late. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, we're playing in Iron Iron Man mode. So I'm gonna call it for the night. It's been ten. We've done ten hours today. Um, so let's. Uh, it's Kingsland now. Yeah, that's right. Taffy 3. Yeah. Rip just when I got here. Why you, got, why you gotta make me feel bad? Stream later tomorrow, okay? We, had, we gotta finish this Australia campaign, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. Um, don't forget, actually, first thing tomorrow, we're going to do the Starliner press conference that starts at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and then we'll talk about that, and then we'll jump into hearts. Should be fun. Never do that, Alto. Never go full crazy. Don't do that. Except for me. Except for me. Thanks to Fun Chief. Always a pleasure. All right. Hope it's good news about Starliner. Me too. Me too. All right. Do you think this is the best Paradox War game? It's pretty good, God Nukes. It's pretty good, dude. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Pie guy left because you came here. Good night.